Hi there. In this uh, quick video I'm going to show you something that uh, I discovered in a really cheap uh, Chinese uh, made as everything is but uh, the cheap Chinese uh, stuff uh, battery power bank whatever you want to call them. Yeah, so you can buy things like this really, 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 really cheaply. They do seem to work, but uh, most of the time they don't have uh, the rated capacity. For example, this thing says uh, 2000 milliamp hours. This thing, if it has 1000, I'll be glad. This, I think, should have uh, somewhere around 1000 if it has, I don't know. 800 I'll be glad so but I it, it, it will not probably it has about 500 so they give you a boost uh, for your phone or whatever but cheap Chinese stuff just doesn't uh, rise up to the levels that uh, uh, they are advertised to be at if you want to buy uh, something a bit more serious uh, you can uh, buy something let me just wipe the dust out of it because i need to fix this you can buy something like this thing uh, but this again does not have the rated uh, capacity and also the usb broke so this will be another video when i try to fix this uh, you can buy brand power banks those almost have the rated capacity but Let's get back to, to the purpose of this video. What I found in a really cheap one, uh, it was none of these three models, I don't have the case for it anymore. It wasn't holding a charge almost uh, at all. It, it was really, really weak. Took it apart. And look here. Yes. This thing actually was soldered uh, to something else you can also see some marks here so what that means this is a recycled cell probably i cannot tell for sure because there is no way of telling for sure but probably from from uh, old laptop batteries they take them apart they test the batteries the cells themselves the ones that are really good probably end up in uh, uh, aftermarket uh, laptop batteries not in genuine uh, batteries obviously and the crappy ones end up in cheap power banks there is another option for cheap power banks they actually use um, a really cheap crappy uh, cell that is new but it's bad because it was made badly with poor components and poor quality and whatnot but mostly they are reused uh, now I do support reusing so for me this is great because in these things most times only one of the cells uh, fails so why not reuse the rest of them my problem is they do not have the capacity that they actually advertised so they could use the cell with the proper capacity as uh, they write on the packaging but they don't do that because who would buy a, a, a power bank like this with only 500 milliamps of capacity nobody so they would actually need to throw away lots of cells they don't do that they they reuse them uh, and honestly next in this video i just want to test the capacity of this thing to see how much it has left and i'm guessing not a lot but this thing doesn't even have uh, any marking on it anymore as you can see even here it was glued in, in a, a completely different configuration uh, at a point in time as safety goes I prefer having a brand cell which is older and has lost its capacity instead of a new cell that is crappily made 
but that's just for safety as capacity goes both are uh, crap so to play around with things like this uh, I bought this charger which will be a separate video and I will use this to test the capacity of uh, this cell and see what we exactly get okay so I've put uh, the cell in this uh, charger it's doing a fast test I've also put a nickel cell because this thing can do tests on two different uh, chemistries uh, in parallel so it uh, doesn't affect all the four channels are separate doesn't affect one the other uh, so yeah we will see how much this thing actually holds and if this was bad or this was bad quite curious to see we'll get back to you when this finishes okay so this cell is complete crap as you can see it has 139 milliamp hours that's its capacity it's useless absolutely useless so this electronics I can use for something else it means it's not the culprit this is the culprit so this is what you get when uh, you buy uh, cheap Chinese stuff this cell probably was bad from the start they put it in that power bank and it just got worse and worse up until here if I would try to discharge uh, charge it and discharge it with a lower current maybe a bit more but nah, not a lot more just a tiny bit more but yeah for the hell of it let's see if I do a fast test and go to the lowest current let's see what it happens then I really do wonder you can see there the voltage dropping because this thing is starting to discharge it now I'm just curious that's about it and this thing I just put this as a, a test just to play around it's a nickel metal hydride uh, and a loop cell <laughs> this is going strong still charging so yeah this complete gar uh, garbage let's see at a really low charge in discharge what it does so test number two <laughs> at uh, 300 milliamps charging current is even worse it's 68 milliamps so this cell is completely gone as for the inner loop that I was testing right next to it it's above spec so uh, 33 2381 milliamp, milliamp hours and it should have 1900 milliamp hours so that NL loop is in really really good shape which is awesome and uh, yeah if you're wondering what's with all the wires working on the laptop battery and it is charging charging two cells in parallel because that is the way they were built here I know it's not supposed to to be charging those I'm not doing something it was designed to do but it is working don't recommend it so don't do what I'm doing and uh, yeah that's about it for uh, this weird video with the cheap Chinese reused cells whatever so thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it in which case please give it a like maybe subscribe to my channel and as always see you in the next one bye